It is very rare to have a fiancé help the bride-to-be choose a dress, but that's kind of how the cards fell today, and we're here to have a good time. OK. OK. And let's see if we can still get the same reaction, <laughs> or even better. We've always loved fashion, and we've always been really glamorous from been being babies. I do, I love it. So if I said to you Jenny was going to walk out that door and the aisle started just there, would you be happy for her to... A yeah, black dress is not going to happen. Oh, my God. <laughs> Randy? OK, hi. Number three, way too picky. Jenny, a perfectionist bride who works as a florist, is facing a significant challenge. With her extensive experience in catering to numerous weddings, her taste for wedding dresses has become way too critical. Having witnessed countless brides in different dresses, her sense of what makes an ideal dress has become dulled. However, there is no need to worry because she has found the perfect location in all of England to satisfy her selective preferences. Jenny's mother Jackie and sister Gilly are actively contributing to the situation by constantly reminding her that they come from a fashion-forward family where ordinary is not acceptable on their wedding list. Gok Van and his assistant have taken on the difficult task of setting up a blind date between Jenny and the dress that has the potential to truly touch her heart. Exciting! Oh my word. And finding my wedding dress is literally the biggest pressure I have ever put on myself. <laughs> the yeah. detail when it comes down it's a bit with my work, I've got um, a florist. I tend to think yeah. those type of dresses think, look better. Yes, I think Definitely. so too, yeah. um, Watching her when we were kids, when she'd always just get, just like Pamela Anderson picking us up from school. Having a deep understanding of human emotions, Gok is well aware that gaining approval from Jenny's mother is the ultimate goal for Jenny's acceptance. With a stunning piece in his possession, he is confident it can withstand the scrutinizing gaze of Jenny and her family. It's time to dress up this beautiful bride in this perfect garment. As soon as Jenny is all dressed up, she instantly recognizes that this piece is the right one for her. The top fits her perfectly, leading to a gentle flare in the skirt. The dress has captivated her, and she feels strongly inclined to take it home. The intricate needlework on a delicate, transparent fabric is a paradise for perfectionists, evoking the glamorous style of the 1920s. The only thing missing is the appropriate hairstyle to complete the look and transport her back in time while firmly remaining in the 22nd century. Yeah. I think this is right up Mum's alley. Yeah. How do you feel? Really excited about this one. Wow, it's like... <laughs> that is... amazing. Oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. It was just flawless, it's beautiful. That wow factor, it's just... it's unreal. I've never seen anything quite like it. You look incredible. Thank you. Right, come on, Michelle. See you soon, sweetie. Bye. I really want her to love this dress. She looks absolutely... In Our bride is completely convinced by the dress, but the question remains. Will her equally selective family share the same opinion? Let's find out. Priced at a cool £2,800, this stunning creation by Badgley Mishka is undeniably worth every penny. Despite its high cost, this dress is an absolute winner, swiftly earning the highly coveted approval of Jenny's selective mother. As you can see, it was a smooth and effortless decision. I meant by it was too white. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> because the trail is absolutely gorgeous. Mm. Yeah, you look so lovely. Will we get the tears from it? The dress? It's, I'm so shocked. Yeah. We are. Let's make sure we're 100% cosmic. I do. Gox really got to go. You know, the full, the hug. full <laughs> hug this time to actually beat that dress. I take it you didn't like the other one. Correct. <laughs> I had to take a second look because I wasn't sure if it was another dress. <laughs> Do you still feel beautiful? Do you feel like the bride that you've always wanted to be? Well, it leaves me a very, very important question to ask you. Saying yes to the dress. I'm saying yes to the dress. Yeah! Number two, the black dress hunt. Cammie Lee, the bride-to-be, is facing a challenging battle as she is determined to wear a black dress down the aisle. However, for her mother, Anuria, this dream is completely unacceptable, and she would rather die than see it become a reality. Dress number one, a beautiful Panina Tournay gown, receives an explosive reaction from her mother, who vehemently opposes it. Thus, dress number one is discarded, 
and Cammy Lee proceeds to try on dress number two, another Panina Tournay creation. I want a black wedding dress so it can match my black little heart. Besides, who wants to be a basic bitch in white? Nope. Camila? It's a no. The only person who I even care about their opinion. So, what I want because you're my favorite, I want a white dress. You heard that? I, I want Did you hear that? You, please, Camila. I'm not going to the wedding then. And I pray for everyone here in Kleinfeld because she might burn it down. <gasps> Pero Randy! Well, oh my God! Oh my! A black dress is not going to happen. Oh my God! <laughs> Randy? Okay. Hi. Oh my God. No, Camila. Oh my God. Camila, ¿qué es eso? Did you oh really see God, yourself Camila. getting married in? No, that's not the dress. No, yes. We'll have a heart attack. No. Go change. Go change. Hey. While it looks stunning on Cammie Lee's body, it fails to meet her mother's picky fashion standards. Dress number three is another remarkable creation, yet it also happens to be black, causing her mother to almost have a heart attack. In a strategic move, her mother initiates a tearful display, melting Cammie's heart. You look beautiful. It's a beautiful dress, but no. I just don't see it for your no. wedding day. No. No. Let's see how she feels about it, though. I feel like it's beautiful. Knock people out with it or shoo, be gone. I love it. So you can picture yourself walking down the aisle in this. Yes! Okay. I'm your mother. The one has to like it is me. Take that off, okay? You look like a, you're gonna die tomorrow. It's a beautiful gown. Kimmy looks like a dead bride. The dead bride at the end of the haunted house. Mom and her on the same page. Let's put you in the white dress. That it would make her see that it looked like she was going to if he was gonna love it this much. No, no long sleeve, Randy. That everyone in the peanut gallery would be happy. How do you feel? I feel like I got. I mean, I love that at least the dress is white. Thankfully, it's white. I don't get a wow factor from it. Do I? Seems like Though her mother loves her, she is a cunning and manipulative force, using her tears as a powerful weapon to bring her defiant daughter under control. It proves to be an effective tactic, and Cammy reluctantly agrees to try on a white dress. Finally, there is a breakthrough moment. In a remarkable turn of events, bride Cammy Lee stumbles upon the perfect dress at Kleinfeld, as if it were tailor-made just for her. The Alessandra Ronaldo gown effortlessly captivates the beholder, meeting all expectations. Its form-fitting silhouette beautifully complements Cammy's curves, while the carefully placed diamond-like rhinestones and threaded motifs on the luxurious cream fabric enhance its overall wow factor. Both Mom Honoria and Cammy are utterly amazed, leading to an emotional moment of recognition. Cammy's brief rebellion has been successfully quelled by Honoria, and it appears that this bride will gracefully walk down the aisle adorned in a dazzling white piece, instead of her initial desire for black attire. Girl that I see in a white dress. It's off white. Off white, lovely. Very Isn't it beautiful. Happy. Beautiful, mommy. Yeah. So, but I'm still thinking about the black dress. Don't get mad at me. What are you gonna do with the black dress, Camila? At the wedding. Okay, I need to find Ron. I'm going. Probably gonna. All I do is just mention the black dress. Here we are, World War III. I like it more than I did the first time. Really? Yeah. Because the size, remember, we filled in the size. Amazing. Thank you. So, with mom sweat one more time. What? <laughs> Torturing this <laughs> lovely right woman. Before. How many hours were you in labor with this girl? How many hours? A lot. A lot. <laughs> yeah, let's yes. put your veil on. Let's turn you around towards the mirror. Here we go. I know. Oh, look at that. Camila, ponte la corona. Oh, is it a crown, baby? What do you wow. think of that? Oh my god, my little angel slash devil. Number one, fiancé backs down. Sarah, a 32-year-old bride-to-be, visits bridal stylist Sevi, accompanied by her fiancé Simon, who is always by her side. Their strong bond ensures that even the process of choosing a bridal gown will not separate them. It's fortunate that they are finally getting married. Sarah is determined to please both Simon and her mother-in-law Gail, valuing their opinions above her own. Dress number one is an exquisite creation by Sophia Tolley, adorned with intricate white-on-white -white needle details. Unfortunately, it fails to impress both Simon and Gail, prompting Sarah to return to the changing room. Hi, my name is Sevi. I'll be your consultant today. Nice to meet you too. And who did you bring with you? <laughs> Fiancé, husband, 
Simon. Correct. <laughs> very unconventional. And yes. my mother-in-law. It is very rare to have a fiancé help the bride-to-be choose a dress, but that's kind of how the cards fell today, and we're here to have a good time. Uh, we're probably going up to about 6,000. With me? Let's go and try some... I'm not too sure. What... On one hand, I think he'd like to see me, and she is my mother-in-law, and um, there's just something about Gail's opinion that I, I really respect. Dress number two, an allure couture design, completely captivates the bridal party. Its unconventional color palette contrasts with its traditional embroidered lace design. Although priced at $4,999, every penny spent on this dress is deemed worthwhile. If the front of the dress impressed them, they are astounded when they see the stunning monarch-inspired twist on the back. However, Simon expresses reservations as he wants his bride to outshine the dress rather than the other way around. Dress number three, once again, an allure couture piece, features beautiful lace and a layered skirt. It becomes a tie between the couple and the mother-in-law, but the determined bride firmly asserts her choice and confidently walks down the aisle adorned in this glamorous attire. And how low it goes, oh, and that was one of Sarah. the things Sarah wants. Do we dare try anything else? <laughs> We can. Okay. Okay. And let's see if we can still get the same reaction. <laughs> or even better. Let's see some tears. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, she that's... was a bit speechless. She looks beautiful. She looks confident. No, I really, really, really like it. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, is that say yes to the dress? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> My darling. You're I'm good. Very <laughs> happy tears. I'm getting so emotional because this is a very special day. I'm choosing my dress that I'll wear on my wedding day. I think I'm going to say yes to the dress. <laughs> <laughs> That's all for today, folks. See you next time.